a very good morning to one and all. So myself, Dr. M. Karthikeyan, Assistant Professor, Department of Chemical Engineering from Satibam Institute of Science and Technology. So to, today we have to discuss about a overview of petroleum exploration and their refinery process. So what are all the uh, techniques to have to develop the exploration with the help of petroleum products to survive from your earth crust and what are all the techniques to uh, explore the products after in using the refinery sectors. So we have to go to the session. Now we have to discuss about the introduction part. So first thing we have to explore the petroleum. So what are all the techniques we know about petroleum to explore? Then we have to move to the second part of refinery sectors. So first thing uh, the industrial sectors we have to develop the exploration part is oil and gas. So throughout the global uh, world we have to run oil and gas uh, products. So without the oil and gas our global economy is not run. So in current scenario uh, in oil and natural gas leads to 3.5 percentage to 4 percentage of global economical developments for their resources. So oil and gas are the major industrials in energy market and play an important role in their influence of global economy. The process and systems are involving various number of producing oil and gas. It's highly complex and capital intensive and required state of art of technologies. Then the industry often divided into various segments. So what are all the segments we have to uh, use in uh, uh, petroleum uh, relevance are there are three segments we have to use first one is upstream process second one is midstream process and last one is downstream process in upstream sector what is the use of upstream sector in exploration sector means in upstream process the oil and gas we can to identify from the source where it is located then midstream after the production of your upstream process we have to transfer the uh, source into your uh, by the pipelines with the help of pipelines in midstream process then we have to move to downstream process after the processing of upstream and midstream sector we have to move to downstream sector so downstream sector is nothing but the source we have to refine in their process in the refinery units so we have to see the basic concept from the various number of streams first we have to see about uh, upstream so what is meant by upstream upstream is nothing but in oil industries is referred to us to search the uh, source recovery uh, production of crude oil and natural gas so the upstream sectors includes what are all the sectors we have to include in upstream process are first one is exploration then production and maintenance so what is meant by exploration exploration is nothing but the searching of potential of source from various of drillings so the source of drilling can be classified into two categories first one is onshore drilling second one is offshore drilling so onshore drilling is nothing but the drilling it can be located in land surface and offshore drilling is located in, in your sea surface so there are two types of uh, surfaces for drilling surfaces so we have to help to explore their process from onshore either or offshore technology with the help of drilling in wells so next we have to drilling the process we have to convert the source into their production and maintenance of well facilities and recover the crude oil from their source to the surface of the plant and the process to be proceed to the hydrocarbons. So next thing the upstream sector. So this is the overview of upstream sector and this is the overview of downstream sector. So first we have to locate the surface of source where to be identified with the help of upstream. With the help of upstream using exploration techniques, various types of exploration techniques will be have to involved. So with the help of techniques, we have to find out their upstream sector, the source will be identified. After the source will be identified, we have to use the help of drilling sectors. With the help of drilling sectors, we have to collect the source that is called your crude oil. So we have to collect the crude oil, then we have to move to the crude oil into their midstream. Midstream is nothing but your transportation sector. In the transportation sector, we have to travel the crude oil from your upstream source to midstream, then midstream to downstream in the downstream process we have to transfer the crude oil from upstream to midstream midstream to downstream in downstream process it is a refinery sectors in the refinery sectors we have to convert the crude oil into number of products so these are all the operating cycles and their activities for the basics of upstreams in their explorations part so these are all the basic areas and the prospects reservoirs development productions and abundant units so next what is meant by basics hydrocarbons we know about crude oil so in the crude oil what are all the compound presence means basically the crude oil contains hydrocarbons so these are all the hydrocarbons present max maximum alkane and alk uh, aromatic contents will be there the petroleum is generally referred to as crude oil and natural gas 
So the mixture of hydrocarbons, the mixture of hydrocarbons which consists of number of molecules with their shapes and sizes. So of hydrogen and carbon atoms and the different molecules of hydrocarbons having different uses and different economic values. So number of carbon atoms, hydrogen and carbon bonds we have to blend it together in the crude oil. We have to convert into n number of products. So this is the process of origin of oil and gas. So we have to see the two locations. So these are the primary locations of their origin of the source that is your crude oil source present in your earth crust. So hydrocarbon that is called reservoirs. So hydrocarbon reservoirs. Hydrocarbon reservoirs basically classified into two categories porous and permeable rocks. It consists of thousands of feet below the surface. It contains the oil and gas as well as water also. So existence of source rocks which generate petroleum under particular subsurface area. So subsurface area we have the some temperature will be there. Then explosion of petroleum of source and the subsequent migrations. After the migrations we have to collect the source also. Then configurations and arrangements of the rock layers from the traps. So different types of traps will be available. So we have to see in next slides. Next the presence of impermeable layers that is called cap rocks. So cap rocks to confine the presence of petroleum accumulations present in the particular place. So next thing we have to timing that is operating conditions. We have above the process have acquired during the history of during the sedimentary basins. So these are all the different types of traps will be available. So, so what are the different types of traps are called anticline traps, normal traps, so strategic traps and thirst traps. So these are all the different types of traps will be available for the petroleum products. So next petroleum explorations. So what is meant by petroleum explorations? The role which is provided, the information required to exploit the best opportunities presented in the choice of areas and to manage the research operations on acquired blocks. So an oil company which have worked on several years on prospective area before an exploration well is suspended and during the period of geological history and the area is studied and likelihood the hydrocarbons being present in this area. So exploration is the responsible for handling the risk intents of the activity and is generally achieved by selection of range of op options in probabilistic and economical terms. So these are all the stages of typical explorations program. First we have to initial evaluation the uh, source where we have identified. Then we have to move to the identification of source with the help of different techniques. That is uh, one of the techniques is called geological survey. Second is geophysical survey, then seismic survey, then drilling survey. So these are all the types of technical programs you have to follow the exploration process. So this is the base in modeling. So with the help of modeling software we have to identify where is the oil will be located, where the gas will be located. So we have to identify with the help of softwares like seismic technologies. So these are all the areas, the green color will get the oil trap will be present. So red color is located is a gas trap will present. These are all oil migrations, oil and gas migrations will be available. So this is the basic technique for petroleum exploration in upstream process. So we have to use geological survey, geochemical surveys, remote sensing surveys, then magnetometric surveys, gravimetric surveys, seismic surveys. So these are all the various number of techniques we have to involve in exploration process. So these are all two types of drilling. So before slide we have to tell about the slide uh, drilling process. First one is onshore drilling, this is one is offshore drilling. So onshore drilling we have to locate it in land surface and offshore drilling we have to locate it in sea surface. So next we move to after we get the exploration process we have to collect the source that is called our crude oil. The crude oil have stored in the midstream process with the help of transportation process. After the transportation process we have enter the crude oil into n number of products we have to use our day to day life. So that process is called downstream sectors. So downstream, so downstream sectors is nothing but we have to create the exploration product that is your crude oil enter into your refinery units. In the refinery units we have to collect n number of products. So before we go to that uh, refinery sectors, so what is meant by we know about refineries. So the range and quality of petroleum products produced any given refinery depend on the type of crude oil. So crude oil may be classified into different types. So depends upon crude that is a sour crude or sweet crude, crudes will be differ. So light and sweet crude light and sweet crude are is more expensive greater yields of higher value of hydrocarbons and they give the higher petroleum products like aviation fuels diesels etc compared to your heavier and sour crude of oil qualities are less expensive these are all also they give the greater yields uh, such the products like that fuel oils then the configurations of certain refineries is typically oriented towards the production of gasoline whereas the configurations is the other oriented towards the production of middle distillates such as diesel fuel and aviation fuels. 
so first we have to enter the crude oil in your refinery in your refinery sectors we got number of columns will be there so number of columns we have to represent different type of names so in the refineries we have to mainly focused on two distillation units first thing is atmospheric distillation unit second one is vacuum distillation unit so in the enter stage of atmospheric distillation unit we have to enter the crude oil is a source into your atmospheric distillation column use the help of heat to separate the crude oil into number of components for example naphtha light oils and heavy oils so after that the atmospheric distillation the heavy oils and other things we move to the second distillation unit like vacuum distillation unit in the vacuum distillation unit the atmospheric residue is the feed further distillated into extracted the oils under vacuum conditions so after that the vacuum conditions we have to move to number of plants like kerosene hydro treater naphtha hydro treater naphtha reformer isomerization unit gasoline hydro treater then uh, diesel hydro treater finally blending process then we have to collect the by final products so n number of products we have to collect from your source like crude oil so these are all the various products we have collect from our crude oil sources only so this is the conceptual scheme of general flow diagram of crude oil once the crude oil enter into the refinery units we have to collect number of processes for example crude oil before enter into atm atmospheric distillation column first we have to desalting the crude because the crude may be uh, two sources will be there first one is sweet crude and sour crude so before we have to desalting the crude then we have to enter into atmospheric distillation column we have to collect the n number of products for, for example the products like gasoline fuel gas reformed gasoline sulfur fuel oil bitumen cracked naphtha cracked oils lubricants then diesel fuel oils and the residuals so all the products we have collect from your crude oil only so what are all the operating conditions what are all the operations we have involved in downstream processor these are all the operations first thing is separation process in the separation process we have to uh, separate the hydrocarbons into various stages so with the help of desalting atmospheric distillation column vacuum distillation column and solvent deasphalting we have to separate their crude oil into various products with the help of separation process so after that separation process we have to move to conversion process in the conversion process we have to change over with the help of catalyst and addition of catalyst we have to convert into n number of products so what are all the conversion processes involved in uh, downstream process are thermal cracking wisp breaking coking uh, then uh, delayed coking etc then catalytic conversion process also we have to use in catalytic conversion process we have to add catalyst then it moves to hydro cracking so after that we have to get finishing process like hydro treatment hydro finishing then blending operations and upgrading the process so what are all the upgradation we have to blend the uh, various number of uh, sources like uh, your crudes we have to upgrade the process like in catalytic reforming isomerization and alkylization process so downstream innovation so downstream innovation in refinery and petrochemical technologies innovations are aimed to so maximize the efficiency whatever we have to do in our plant means we have to improve their efficiency then only we have to get the ultimate goal so we have to maximize the efficiency for downstream process then minimize the utility consumptions we have to consume some cost wise we have to consume the products then we have to improve their process then improve their environmental quality or finished products we have to improve their products with greenhouse gas emissions with less greenhouse gas emissions also so with the higher gas uh, greenhouse gas emissions we have to given means uh, it leads to ocean depletions etc so maximize yields on higher added values process unconventional crudes so we have to find out unconventional crudes also then used to remote natural gas and biofuels switch over to biofuels that is alternative energy sources so future of our uh, global we have to move some alternative sources like solar tidal wind biofuels etc so this is our uh, content we have to discuss about what is meant by uh, petroleum exploration and what are all the process involved in refinery sectors thank you